Sunday, March 3rd, follow-up. I'm looking at space weather this time. And Michael has the post-comet 12 p pounds broke in full glory. Here we take a closer look. It does have that appearance, doesn't it? Of my subscribers have suggested not to call it the Devil's Comet. And I agree. I had a video of Devil's Comet comes and I raced it. Looking at this more closely. The color the dust gives the yellowish discharge is common. The color appearance bluish and white in the middle. It does have, and by the way, this here is a plasma tail charge. In other words, if you put your hand in there, you'll be you'll be vaporized. So that's highly charged electric. Cool. I mean, I've been following this for a while. Now there is very difficult to put this in the simple words i mean comments are unknown i mean they've been feared for a reason throughout ancient history there's one site right here that i highly recommend called thunderbolts project they have a whole bunch of listings i mean following them for what over decades every time they put a video out learn more and more and more there's a little clip here that i show this little clip uh, but as they accelerate towards the sun, the last part of their orbit is uh, just a couple of weeks, and it's switching from uh, the its voltage from the outer solar system to one near the sun. It begins to discharge, electrically discharge. So it's like it's got it's a quite a huge, in comparison to the sun, negative potential difference. Yes. It's a cathode. Yes. And the sun acting as an anode, as it gets closer, there's if you like some sort of discharge stuff. Yes, to... and the kind of discharge that occurs is well known to electrical engineers. It's called a cold cathode discharge. Okay. You've got a cold body, you haven't heated it to get it boil electrons off, and what happens is that the voltage near the surface rises to uh, the level where it begins to strip electrons off the atoms areas, and you get what are called cathode jets, and here you actually get atoms and molecules being stripped off the surface of... Now, there's a lot of more information if you put down electrical comet here they have a whole bunch of topics talking about the electrical comet theory and the water highly charged difficult making these videos is you're trying to cram in a bunch of knowledge into a funnel you skip stuff you got new people coming in and say who the hell is this guy playing around with the computer in a nursing home again it's, it's so much i look at this from a spiritual you got to look at this from a spiritual i do point of view I mean, if you look at current situation, what's happening, you could see the, the negativity increasing and also natural disasters increasing, volcanoes waking up active. You understand when this comet 12P passed before and the other videos I put down the years, we had earthquake in New Badger Fault. We had volcanic, volcanic eruptions. So I'm under the belief it, it does have an influence. And here's something that I just discovered today. This right here, Stephen. Okay, beautiful looking image. But in the description, he says the comic nucleus is estimated to be around 30 kilometers, which is about, what, 17 miles long? Something like that. On the, the site that I look at the stars, the, when I look at the stars, Stradarium, I know I'm murdering that name. It has it at 10 kilometers, which is a six miles. So it's bigger. And I said, wait a minute, let me do some double checking because these numbers are fluctuating from 10 kilometers to 30 kilometers. So I did some checking and of course they're gonna have different numbers. So I put this together right here, 30 kilometers, 18.6 miles and 10 kilometers is six, Point two miles and I said wait a minute let me check to see if this is correct so I checked space what space.com and it does confirm right here 30 kilometers wide the nucleus so it's bigger okay what does that mean it means that it's more charge the object the bigger the more charge negative charge it has I put down a the particle in the ion tails are electrically charged. 
the larger particle and the dust tail do not have electrical charge but since we got a bigger mass now might explain why we had all those events every time it gets close to the planet now if you're thinking that well he's just putting this together today trying to educate himself real quick no 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 i'll show you why i mean i've been putting lists together other comets let's take Ison, for example let's go back Okay, Eisen back in 2013, and you can see here. I mean, when I had my dragon, I was able to speak in a more concise, better way. And here's the list that I was talking to about. So I've done this for a while. A lot of my photo bucket images, like I said, is gone. And, I, and my computer that I had, over 100 images are gone. So it's not like i'm doing this for the first time i mean i study constellations why do i do this i don't even get paid for this and i follow marcus millennius intensely i'm like a like a first year old, like a first grader there was a lady that asked me about the disconnect of the tail and it looks similar to that right there and the inky when the solar winds hit it just strips the tail off and that's what they're they were explaining of the other event that I the video that I show about those anomalies so I've, I've been doing this for a while I've been following electric comet theories for a while electrical interchange it had with Mars when Comet Ison came close to Mars how it affected so you see I, I am not new to this it might seem to the newcomers that I'm new to doing all this I'm not new to doing this see my language I speak it in um, simplest terms I'm a little slow. I don't use $20 words. I don't have the graphics to put out, the animations to put out in the screen. Highly professional, edited, Hollywood-type videos. I just bring 1% to the table. I try to bring 1% to the table. I do this because this is my passion that I've had since when I first saw Comet Hellbound back in 1996, I think it was. So ever since then, I've been glued to this. And there's a lot of information here about the electrical comet here's the search electric comet just if you're into this like i said the interest will grow and grow after i pick march 13th i don't know why i picked march 13th but it seems to be giving us the display beforehand i've seen the color differential every comet has similar or a unique signature why am i saying that this comet and this is just a small list i'm trying to put them together it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of energy especially what i'm dealing with now right the, what i'm going through trying to keep my house most of the energy is going in that direction when i should be focused on the mission that i was brought back to do you know when i had my near-death experience so many papers so many studies so many professors so many images so many data and i'm still in first grade i mean the au the, the all the equations because what happens is they their language they use is difficult for the common person who just just want to look Hey, what's happening what's happening and then you're throwing all these equations and like what the hell what's a one degree what's a two degree people get like what the hell and then you try to google it, google it. They, they speak a different language and i've been with them for a long time and i'm learning i just stay back in my seat stay quiet and just enjoy the ride i mean sometimes when the nasa used to have the calling participation where you participated and you could part you know ask the all these college educated professionals questions it was fun and here i am no college degree nothing i jumped in there just like it was like it was nothing i mean there's so many studies theories um jelikoski all everybody I get into this stuff. I try to learn as much as I can learn. And if I don't know a word, I just put it down and put it on Google. Try to define the word. This video here, a moment I, I feel like I had dream. What happened here, I was knocked out. You're diabetic and all that, your sugar level, you, you have episodes of being knocked out. But I was knocked out, but then I was just like, like a dream, like a vision. A nice, calm, collective, beautiful voice in the dream showing me these these clues remember as this thing gets closer okay hundreds and thousands of comets why am i picking this particular one 
when I get on to do some of these videos, I just do it without thinking. I just jump into the fray. If you look at the current situation, I've been following a lot of about the ex, about the, the about Salem, the Nineveh, Jonah videos that are out there that are getting a lot of views, thousands, tens of thousands. I'll be lucky if I could get 10, 10 thumbs up. It's not about getting popularity. It's about trying to bring a piece of a puzzle to the table, trying to save. If I could do something to save and help save this civilization, I know it sounds crazy. Maybe we God's always going to give us a chance, just like Nineveh. That's the reason that I say this is the, the blue kachina, because... Every other thing is aligning up. You could see it. The violence, the this, the that, the evil, the prophecies, the, the Rick of book of Revelation. You got to include all that and put it in the table. If it, was, if it was just a comet and none of these things were accelerating, like, okay, just a typical comet with outbursts, you know, vents looking beautiful. No, it's everything else. Your spirit, your soul. Is telling you. You can see it. Those that are tuned in can feel something is wrong. I mean, people are food. You can't trust the food you eat. You can't trust the water. You can't this. People are just dropping D all over the place because of the the thing and also the spiritual realm battle that's going on. And it looks like and it feels like we're losing the battle. It's like we're losing the battle. So it's impossible to put almost three decades of study and, and reading numerous materials and not speaking no $20 words. I speak as simple as I can because I'm bringing it right down to the people. Just bringing it down simple, simplify as possible. Yes, I'm old. Yes, yes, I, I could do better. Yes, I know. But right now I got three battles. I got my health, my home, and I do what I, my passion, this right here. And also the fathers. I have, I'm under the... I cannot find a word to describe it. That it all connects with the father figure, the marriage, and the family. I mean, if we could reconnect that connection, it'll be like a light bulb. It'll be like a lighthouse turning on bright. God would spare us the destruction. If it keeps up the way it's going, men are giving up. They're giving up on marriage. And are the ones that do 80% of the marriage divorce. Stay away from that and focus on the comment. When I do the father, find a time. I'll do the father. I mean, the father at sight point out something if i can help one i remember that help one save one you don't have to be on a channel you don't have to be looking at this i could just have one view i see ladies that constantly every day preaching the word of god and the poor little i mean the poor young lady only has about five six views i get on there and i give her a thumbs up without hesitation and i let the video i watch it and if i'm busy i let the video run and she's out there every day every day every day yeah so it's 30 kilometers the mass is bigger, the electrical, as it gets closer to the sun, it's going to have an effect. It's, probably, it's having an effect already. And the thing is, on top of that, this is a solar maximum. So you see the sun going crazy. Sometimes it shoots beams right up to it. That's electrical. The positive and the negative inter interacting. We don't, know what the we don't know what the nucleus is made out of. We don't know. Like those, the top professors, scholars who study comets all their lives went to the best universities and they don't even know. Of course, you're gonna have some that pretend to know. They're gonna follow, they're gonna read the script. Look at this from a spiritual, a spiritual. These messengers, harbingers um, were feared. They destroyed civilizations in the past. Particularly like doing videos because I stutter. I have a stuttering problem because I feel like I put a camera on me in front of our audience and all of a sudden I stay there, uh, uh. But when I'm in a meditative state and I have my little dragon voice to text, spelling correction, I could write books. And too bad I didn't have a website. I can't go back in time and fix things. That's the past is dead. Past is gone. I just look at right now today and praise God for today. Tomorrow I might not be here. If I could educate, if I do educate one person or help one person, I can just one. You know how difficult it is to save a soul? So I will continue and I'm just going to do videos on this. I mean, I'm already up to 36 and I feel like I haven't even scratched the surface. And this was the first comment that I did on YouTube over, well, it says 12 years ago. So that's over 13, 13 years ago. I have more beer prior to this. Just to give you an idea, I'm not new to this. 
trying to put it together. I look back, the way I started was so simple. <laughs> it was, I got a lot more views back then until before the, I put that one video out and it got me all beep. Anything new comes up, I'll report it. Give me a thumbs up. See if I could break at least 10 thumbs up. If not, so be it. I tried. It was not meant to be. I'm right there. I hate doing editing. And I just sometimes I just throw the video out there and not edit it as as much as I should. And this is the video I look back at it now. I'm like, wow. When you have young and you have the energy, and don't be don't be suckered by the deceivers because they'll they'll hide. Especially now, space agencies they used to be more open. Now they're very secretive, very very secretive. Now I look at this one right here, Comet Ellen, when it was close and it had the La Palma. It. Uh, they say it doesn't have an effect. I believe they do. If you look at Comet 73P when the Spitzler spacecraft showed the when the dust it had a, like a magnetic line. It 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 rode like a railroad track, exposed it. So I do believe comets do have influence, and they interact. Remember, they're the negative charge. Sun is the positive charge, and the water key is water. Water all over the filaments, everywhere, everywhere there's water. Yeah, I remember that. When uh, when Ellen came close, another volcano just went right there. It just went right here. How it affected the Palma when it was close by on this video right here. I have it all. This one right here, which was 13 years ago. I've been doing this for a while, people, and I look at it from a 360 point of view. Okay, just a little bit about me. I'm in my mid-60s, and see, these are the observatories that used to, used to be more open, but now we live in a world where deception is the norm and the cover-up. Until next time. Until next time. Bedfather out.